everyone. Today we're going to talk about the Merrill Moab 2 ventilator and it is our top pick for hikers with wide feet. If you're new to the channel, my name's Roxy and I'm part of the Adventure Junkies team. We help people like you choose the right gear to get outdoors. If you want to learn more, go ahead and visit www.theadventurejunkies.com. Now what you really came for, the Merrill Moab 2 ventilator review. <laughs> I just put them back in the box for show, but I have been testing them. They're a little tad dirty, but otherwise still looking pretty nice. So as we mentioned, this is our best, this is our, our favorite pick for, uh, hikers with wide feet and you can even just see on the shoe that it's a wide shoe it looks kind of like stubby because it's so wide but this is a size nine i wear a size nine and it fits like a size nine so um don't be fooled by the look it is a very comfortable shoe uh even though it looks i don't know it looks like short to me it doesn't look stubby i don't know so these shoes retail for 110 US dollars and they are available in sizes five through 12. And uh, they are also available in a wide if you want even wider. I can't imagine what those look like <laughs> if these are already so wide. They are also available in a men's version. So if your partner or someone you know has very wide feet, this could be a good pick for them as well. Uh, most people in the reviews that we scoured online say it fits true to size. I would agree with that. They are nines. Like I said, I wear nines uh, and they fit really well. Uh, I put them on and I was like, oh yeah, this, it, no, no issues. Um, and they are wide. If you uh, have a wider foot, this is going to be a really great choice for you. There's no squeezing. Uh, if you don't have a wider foot, this is also a good choice because oftentimes when you're hiking really long distances, your feet expand. So if you're looking for a shoe that will stay comfortable over long distances, this is also a good choice. In terms of weight, the Moab Merrill 2 ventilator is a little heavier than other shoes that we tested in the same category. This is a size 9 and is 1 pound 12 ounces, which is 772 grams. Uh, and that is... Um, Heavier, yeah, it's it's definitely a bulkier shoe than a lot of the fast hikers that we are also reviewing. Oop, got some stuff in there. Uh, so you're gonna feel them on your feet a little bit more. The uh, ventilators use a traditional lacing system. Classic style here, you've seen it before, you'll see it again. There are no extra holes um, to change your lacing technique. Uh, what you see is what you get. So hopefully you don't have hot spots or anything like that that you need to change around the laces to uh, rid those of. There are other things you can do with traditional lacing systems. So you're not totally out of luck, but as it comes out of the box, totally straightforward. I see no issues with the durability of this lacing system. They did choose a round lace to come instead of a flat lace. So uh, that is just, there's just gonna be more volume here in the lacing area instead of being flatter towards the tongue. In terms of breathability, these are super breathable and that also means that they are super not waterproof. So uh, looking through these, I actually can't see any sun coming through, which uh, is good news for like small rocks and pebbles. That means those types of things won't be able to get through the ventilation, but it still does have um, a ton of ventilation. You can see all the way down here on the opposite side of these suede pieces, ventilation, and then on the top, uh, I would call these like medium warm boots or shoes. They are breathable, but not as breathable as some of the shoes we tested and more breathable than others. They do have like a lot of construction on the uh, outers here, which can keep in heat. Uh, so I wouldn't call these like desert hiking shoes, but they are also uh, still gonna let your foot breathe as you walk in them. So let's talk about durability. These shoes are made to be durable. <laughs> they are pretty hefty. Uh, they've got some chunky midsoles, chunky outsoles, and then uh, really durable traditional stitching along the top. So we don't have any welded construction here. This is pig suede and then uh, synthetic mesh. So it alternates between the two as you go down the shoe and everything is traditionally stitched together. Uh, that is probably adding to the weight of the shoe. It uh, will stay durable, but as anyone with 
traditional stitched shoes will know after a while you will catch a snag on something uh, and those stitches will come loose. I don't see any issues with durability here. They seem uh, really well constructed and like they will last many hundreds of miles before anything would happen to this traditional stitching. We've got a much uh, heftier tongue here than other hike shoes that we have tested. It is fully gusseted, which means up here at the top, it's attached right at the top. And that is to help protect your foot from uh, debris or anything small, small rocks getting in there, which is, is really nice to have that protection. I, I am not as much of a fan of this tongue. I like to have thinner tongues that let my foot breathe more. But if you are using this in a colder climate or if you're just hiking and want a more durable, hefty shoe, the box keeps on coming towards me. This tongue could be a tongue that you're looking for. It's more of a traditional tongue than um, what we're seeing on the market now. This shoe uses the Eva midsole to help with stability. You can see the midsole along here and here, and it does keep them very comfortable, uh, nice and cushioned. Uh, it has a removable kinetic fit advanced footbed. Woo! So here it is. And as you can see, there is uh, holes in the top here and that is also for breathability. It's pretty stiff, this, this sole down at the bottom here, uh, which is nice for cushioning your heel if, that's, if you're looking for good support. Uh, this is going to be a good shoe for you. I would call this a medium support shoe. And because you can remove the sole, you can also add in your own insoles if that's what uh, keeps you comfortable or something that you're looking for. So they are pretty supportive, we talked about, and they also are pretty stiff. So you really can't twist or turn, bend these. So if you're looking for that type of protection from the ground as you walk, these are gonna be nice and protected. And then also we talked about how this EVA contoured removable footbed is also pretty stiff. Uh, so it's gonna offer some nice so I can't really bend it up and down. So that is going to be offering some nice support for you if you are looking for that type of support, a uh, really solid shoe. This is a, it's a pretty soft shoe, like on the top, you can't bend or do anything. And it does have support in the back here. The outsole comes all the way up and then we do have uh, a toe, toe support from the outsole as well as a heavier piece of material around the toe. I would, I wouldn't suggest these for intense hiking, but um, you know anything day hikers, moderate terrain, and even moderate peak bagging, these could be a really good choice. Uh, but because of their soft construction, you want to stay away from like really sharp rocks or anything because those will get right through to your foot. Let's talk about the foot box. Um, I would call this a wider foot box among others that we've tested. Uh, my foot did slightly touch in the top, but it didn't push anything towards my toes. So my fit, my toes did have room to spread out like that. Uh, and they are pretty breathable as you're wearing them. They're a little bit warmer than other shoes because they do have this suede in between the breathable sections and they do have foam in here between you and the outside. And that's great for protection from small rocks and anything that could get into the shoes. Uh, but it does cut down on the breathability. I didn't find they needed a break-in period. They, you sort of put them on and that is how they felt. They do heat up after a bit of walking. Uh, but if you get these shoes and you wear them around the house and they're instantly uh, sort of pushing somewhere, I'm not sure that's gonna go away after you hike 20 miles in them. So just keep that in mind if you're trying these shoes out. So let's talk about the outsole on these shoes, which is pretty unique looking. They didn't just go with like your standard lugs. Uh, this is a proprietary Vibram TC5 Plus outsole with five millimeter lugs uh, along here, along the edges. Uh, they are not chevron shaped, which is sort of like the industry standard pick. You have sort of this like moving in towards and then here's some lugs at the top. We found this sole to be medium sticky, uh, really good on like granite and rock surfaces, really uh, stuck to those. But for something like looser gravel or more technical terrain, uh, not as grippy. So I'd call this middle of the road grippy, uh, 
really good for um, most day hiking and some peak bagging. But once you get into more technical terrain, you're gonna want something that's gonna grip a little better than this Vibram sole. If you're enjoying this video, hit the like button so more people like you can find it. It is super easy to lace these shoes. It's a traditional lacing system, so uh, it is obvious when they come out of the box how to lace them. You could change around the laces a bit if you're getting hot spots, uh, and that is easy to do because it is so uh, straightforward. They are rounded laces, which can sometimes come untied uh, if you don't double knot them. They are true to size, if not a little wide, which I actually appreciate in the shoe to let my foot grow and expand and on longer hikes. Otherwise, I wear a nine. These are a nine and they fit really well. They are pretty comfy because of this midsole. They are padded uh, from the e EVA midsole. And the insole is also pretty comfy, albeit not very flexible. So if you're looking for a flexi shoe, this is not it. I would say they are overall pretty comfy. Any hot spots would come in sort of on the edges of your foot if they were rubbing because they are wider. It doesn't grip your foot. It doesn't like conform to your foot like other shoes do. So there could be some movement on either side. So that could be something to look out for. I would call them medium supportive. Uh, that midsole gives you a nice sort of fluffy walking, hiking feel but uh, you do still get some flexi, flexibleness in the toe uh, if you're looking for like a really solid footbed to walk on. I would say these provide that they feel uh, durable and solid while you're hiking. I would say they provide average traction on rock and mud and there's definitely grippier shoes out there if you're looking for super grip. These are not the choice. They are not waterproof. Uh, but between the outsole and the midsole, you do have some clearance off the ground, so that will help keep moisture out. And uh, if they do get wet, they are semi-breathable, so you will hopefully dry out as you're walking. Otherwise, they do have some padding around them, so they will keep your foot a little warmer than other more breathable hikers. All right, let's just recap about the Merrill Moab 2 Ventilator, which, as we all know, I love that name, the Ventilator. <laughs> This is our top pick hiking shoe for wider footed hikers, <laughs> people with wide feet. It is, it is comfortably wide. They do have a wide version if you have, if you would prefer even more room, you can pick that wide version. This is a size nine. They're one pound 12 ounces or 772 uh, grams and that is per pair. So that's both shoes on the scale at once on a size nine. They retail for 110, which is an excellent price for a hiking shoe. Uh, you don't often find shoes that cheap that also are really durable and well-made. So that could be a good option if you're looking for a budget hiking shoe. Uh, this is not our favorite budget hiking shoe, but it is budget friendly. This is designed as a day hiker and maybe even an everyday wear shoe, uh, like around the town or doing your outdoor chores. I would not recommend this as a trail runner. It is a little too heavy, it's too bulky. Uh, it's just like too much construction for trail running, but um, it is great for just like a middle of the line hiker. I also wouldn't recommend for fast hiking or through hiking. Uh, just the weight alone is too much on your feet for putting in many, many miles. It is fairly soft and flexible, this upper here, so we wouldn't recommend it for super technical terrain. Uh, this is really great for like your backyard trail or <laughs> mowing the lawn, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, but because of just this softness on top, the, you do have some protection on the toe and, and the outsole comes up onto the heel. So you are getting protection there, but otherwise you just don't wanna be climbing mountains in this type of shoe. It's too heavy, it's too like over constructed for that type of thing. Uh, this is gonna be a great pick if you want a shoe that is comfortable right out of the box. If your feet are a little wider and you want something that's gonna accommodate that, or if you just want a well-constructed shoe that's not gonna fall apart on you that you can put on every day to go outside and um, chase your kids or mow the lawn or whatever, or, or hike a few miles, this is gonna be a great pick for that, especially because they're just comfy right out of the box. Personally, I like the fit of these shoes. I like the classic lacing system. Uh, and I like that the uh, tongue is gusseted all the way up. 
I am not so fond of sort of the over construction of the shoe. It just has like a lot going on. And because of that, it makes it a little heavier. Uh, otherwise they're perfectly comfy and there will definitely be a pick for shorter trails and uh, hanging out with friends. I hope you enjoyed a review of the Moab 2 Ventilator by Merrill. Happy hiking. The Ventilator. <laughs> That's a great name. You can also get this shoe in a men's version if you and your partner want to have matching wide shoes. That could be uh, a fun little thing to share on a hike. <laughs>